Don't know how to play Smash Bros. Oh, Crash Course, here we go! Press A to smack people, then hold A to smack them harder. Press B to whack people, and then hold B to whack them harder. And now that you know how to play, it's time to get your good old shit pulled in by Dave... John Cena! Super Smash Bros. For way yo. I was excited to finally play Smash Bros. again, because I never owned Brawl, and I played the shit out of Melee like a decade ago. This might just have been one of my most hyped games of last year, next to Bayonetta, why didn't they add her? And Dark Souls 2 earlier in the year. And like, wow, does it deliver? I mean, really, there's like an insane amount of content in this game. The character roster is like massive, but questionable at times? Like, the fucking reskin? I mean, really, there's like four of them! I mean, fuck, dude, look at this anime. There is so much anime. All oh, these waifus! What?! Oh my god, look, Ridley, he's in the game. Shut the fuck up. There are a lot of stages to choose from. And with the inclusion of the new map maker, there's practically an unlimited amount of maps I can create for me and my loser friends to play on. These can range from giant shitty pink blobs, to giant penises, to maps that make you want to kill yourself, and then occasionally the somewhat playable maps I'm able to think of. And when you combine this with the incredible amount of game modes to play, and all of the fucking collectibles to unlock, this game is quite literally dripping and leaking with content out of every possible hole. <sighs> That's not to say that I don't have a few gripes with this fourth installment of Smash. When I first launched the game, I had no idea that the game still had all these modes and things to do because they were just hidden in menus upon menus. Because I'm just not used to games actually having this much extra content, statistics, and unlockables anymore. Another thing that went right over my head, since I'm a fucking retard, I couldn't figure out how to actually remap my controls because I didn't take the time to explore any of these menus. I honestly thought the only option was just to change your name until I actually clicked on the name, and then I realized, oh, that's where I changed my controls. What? Which leads to another second little nitpicky thing. I didn't really like the default control scheme, but when I figured out I could actually change it in the menus, I found that the controls were fully remappable, which is a godsend. And on this note, they should really change the control schemes to have some sort of global setting instead of being profile based. It's just less hassle that way. Also, I was kind of bummed when I figured out I couldn't actually play as my Samus Amiibo, but again, just me be me. Okay, those things were tiny frustrations in comparison to this one, because holy shit, during online play, the game lags horrifically. Sometimes it just stops. It basically becomes unplayable when this happens. I really don't know how Nintendo didn't find a way to remedy this. Hell, there's even massive input delay at times. It's ridiculous. And yes, I've been told that it was worse in Brawl. This is a godsend in comparison. Well, I didn't play Brawl, so to me, it's pretty shit. Probably the biggest problem with the game. And besides that and a few other little nitpicky things, this Smash is fucking awesome. If you own a Wii U and you don't have Smash, what's wrong with you? 